What's up guys, Adrian here and welcome to another video of my uh, monthly series where I present my dividend stock picks of the month. So the stock market um, continues to remain strong uh, overall right now. The hot sectors have definitely been uh, technology and gold, but there are a few sectors that have definitely uh, not recovered to pre-COVID-19 levels. So those are the sectors I'm going to concentrate on. Financials and energy are the obvious ones, but also real estate. Uh, especially retail real estate because of all the uh, shutdowns of uh, many non-essential businesses in March. So since there is a great value right now in those sectors, my stock picks will definitely uh, reflect that. So just a quick disclaimer before I unveil my picks, I'm not a certified uh, financial advisor or have any formal financial education whatsoever. Uh, however, I've been investing on my own since 2012 and currently have a dividend stock portfolio of about $630,000, uh, which generates about $1,000 a week in passive income. So my investments strategy focuses uh, exclusively on stocks and funds that provide a dividend so all my stock picks will one uh, provide a dividend and two they're all stocks that I own myself so I definitely consider myself an income investor, which means that the, uh, the most important thing for me is getting safe, consistent, and stable passive income via dividends and distributions every single month. I'm also a value investor at heart, which means that I always look for cheap or undervalued stocks, uh, which have a nice juicy dividend. It's one of the easiest ways to maximize your, your income, uh, simply because when stocks or sectors are lower due to uh, market market volatility, the dividend yield uh, goes up, hence the uh, added value. So my monthly stock picks will definitely reflect my personal strategy. So this strategy has allowed my wife and I to become financially independent in 2019 in our mid thirties, uh, which means that our passive income easily pays off all our living expenses uh, every single month. So if you're ever, you're interested in seeing my whole dividend stock portfolio or my retirement account, which are completely separate from one another, make sure to check out those videos uh, in my channel. So without further ado, let's check out uh, my picks for the month of September 2020. Alright, so pick number one is the Energy Leaders Plus Income ETF um, from Harvest. The stock symbol is HPF, so a great way to uh, maximize or capitalize on the value that the energy sector has right now. So this um, ETF gives its dividend monthly. It's uh, the dividend is 36 cents a share. And if we look at the one year high price of $4.24, so it used to uh, give a really nice dividend yield of 8.49%, but because of the oil price uh, decline, this ETF did take a hit. So it's a great time to buy it. As you could see from the actual price right now of $2.24, you're getting an enormous a dividend yield of over 16%, so really, really phenomenal. So in this ETF, you have 20 uh, really big cap blue chip global energy companies, so it doesn't have any of those small, smaller producers uh, which are riskier. And of course, this ETF uses a covered call strategy. That's what really boosts the dividend yield. So if you don't know what a covered call strategy is, I suggest you check out my other video where I uh, explain what it is in detail. But uh, just to keep it short, it's a very, it's a zero risk way to maximize your dividend. So the breakdown in my key points for this stock pick, um, there's the breakdown in terms of region. You have 54% US, 25% Canada, and 21% international. So a really nice mix there. Uh, for my key points, so obviously the energy sector right now is heavily undervalued due to uh, low oil prices because of COVID-19. Oil prices are starting to recover due to gradual increase of travel and oil demand. So we see that right now. Um, also this ETF, because it uses a cover call strategy it has good performance during market volatility because of those covered calls so if you didn't know um, the option income that you get from covered calls is higher when there's a lot of volatility also um, you have global exposure like I mentioned only 25% in Canada which uh, which is good because the Canadian oil companies tend to be a, a bit more uh, risky and uh, this ETF only holds the biggest 
uh, oil producers. It doesn't have any of the small, the smaller producers. It has a phenomenal dividend yield of 16% plus. It's really crazy. And if we just check out some of the holdings real quick, you'll recognize, I'm sure, a lot of them. So in terms of Canada, you have TC Energy and Enbridge. Uh, as well as Pembina Pipeline. Those are the three biggest pipeline companies in Canada. You also have the two biggest producers. You have Suncor um, and Canadian Natural Resources Limited. Now, in terms of international, you have Total, which is the biggest one in France. You have uh, BP, which is the biggest one in, in England, uh, in the UK. Uh, you also have Shell, which is the big guy in the Netherlands, and the rest are pretty much all um, US. Alliance. So really good diversification here. Um, if we look here at the bottom, you could see the dividend yield 16% right now. The average market capitalization is $70 billion. So that's the average worth of each company in the fund. So only the big guys here. So pick number two is the Income Financial Trust. Uh, fund from a company called uh, Quadravest. They have a monthly dividend. It's right now it's 78 cents a share. So if we look at the one year high price of $10.24, it was giving a dividend yield of about 7.62. Right now, um, this fund, uh, the, the price is about $7.77. So a nice discount. You're getting a nice dividend of a little over 10%. So this is a closed end fund uh, from Quadravest that holds a wide variety of North American financial stocks this is why i like it so it not only has banks but also have has life calls which are life insurance companies and also wealth and asset managers so this fund also like the first one uh uses a covered cost strategy to boost the dividend yield so uh i this was my pick for the financials because uh, I like it because it's well diversified within the financials, which we'll see on a little bit on the next slide. So I could have easily picked um, an ETF that has the Canadian banks or an ETF that has the US banks, but I decided that this is better because it gives you a lot more diverse exposure to financials in North America. All right, so here is the regional uh, breakdown with this fund, 51% US, 46% Canada. So for my key points and reasoning, obviously the financial sector is currently undervalued uh, because of COVID-19. It's just the way market cycles work. Um, so we're in a pretty bad market cycle right now. So the financials have not caught up uh, to tech for example. Um, this fund has a fantastic dividend history. It's been around since 1999, so over 20 years. It has great, that, like I mentioned before, great diversification within the sector. Even though it's all financials, you're getting uh, not only banks, but you're getting life insurance and wealth managers, things like that. So it's a very easy way to get a piece of all the great North American financials with only owning one stock. Uh, the monthly dividend, take note, is not set in stock. It varies monthly and is set at 10% of the fund's net asset value. So as the net asset value increases uh, uh, of the fund, sorry, so does the dividend, but the opposite is also true. So if you look at the dividend history, for example, you'll see that every month it fluctuates. Um, so the dividend yield I mentioned in the first slide is the average of the last 12 months. So, so if we look at uh, just what this stock has in terms of holdings, um, you'll see that they have really all the best financial companies in North America, in Canada, and the US. So a lot of the banks you'll recognize, like Morgan Stanley, there's some smaller financial banks. You have Intact, which is from Canada. There's Sun Life, a big life co. Goldman Sachs, uh, all the big Canadian banks are there for sure. So you have TD Bank, Royal Bank, um, Manulife, uh, JP Morgan, uh, Bank of Nova Scotia is there, Wells Fargo. So really the best in terms of North American financials. Really good diversification here. All right, guys. So uh, pick number three, final pick of the month is Slate Grocery REIT. Uh, the stock symbol is SGR.UN. So this is a TSX listed uh, REIT. It's smaller, uh, lesser known REIT on the TSX. It has a monthly um, a dividend payout. The dividend is 86.4 cents a share, but that's US. They give their dividend in US dollars. Uh, the one year high price uh, was $13.60, giving you a dividend yield of 8.32%. But now it's an, uh, there's a nice discount. It's a little over $10 per share. So 
it gives you a nice dividend yield of a little over 11%. So this REIT, uh, formerly Slate Retail REIT, they recently changed their name from Slate Retail REIT to uh, Slate Grocery REIT. And just a few months, uh, uh, sorry, a few weeks ago, they own uh, $1.3 billion worth of grocery anchored retail real estate in the US. Um, so the REIT is managed by Slate Asset Management. They also manage another uh, REIT that deals with office buildings called Slate Office REIT, SOT.UN. All right, so my key points and takeaway for this pick is uh, simply because real estate, especially retail real estate, is very undervalued right now because of uh, COVID-19, uh, because many non-essential retail businesses uh, were forced to uh, shut down temporarily. Most of them are opened up now. Um, so this REIT, I really like their strategy. They have an ingenious strategy to focus only on grocery anchored, anchored centers. So they only have retail properties that are that deal with grocery stores um, because and this is good because they didn't have to shut down they're considered essential businesses so they've been barely impacted because of covid they had no dividend reductions they also uh, this read in particular has a good history of increasing dividends throughout the years right now for us canadians with the exchange it's over 11 percent. so a really really good deal it's also an easy way for uh, for us canadians to invest in u.s real estate so i really like this company i like the whole strategy behind it um very rare it's the first read that i've seen that focuses on this particular strategy to focus on grocery centers so i like it really smart all right so those are my picks for the month of september i hope you enjoy them and decide to invest so you too could enjoy some easy passive income please make sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with any of my picks or if you have any uh, picks you want to share i'd be more than happy to check them out and provide uh, my opinion also please give us a follow on instagram for bi-weekly posts on personal finance investing for income and of course stock picks and finally make sure you're subscribed to the channel not to miss out on next month's picks as well as uh, my other uh, content my mission uh, is definitely to help you make passive income so with that take care guys and see you next time